Amanda Knox is a Netflix original documentary about the Amanda Knox story. She's in the documentary. Uh, she was not paid to be in this, but they also are able to get um, the other people involved. Uh, there's um, Raphael, her boyfriend at the time, Nick Pisa, a journalist, and the Italian detective who was in charge of everything. Uh, this documentary is not that interesting. I'm going to say that immediately. It's only 90 minutes long. It just takes you through the whole, you know, timeline of... Uh, her, her, her home videos before her going to Italy, uh, what she did in Italy, what happened, you know, around the time, why the media, like, slammed her and smeared her incredibly, the, the botched police stuff, you get the perspectives from the Italians as well. So, I mean, overall, if you're too lazy to just browse Wikipedia, you can watch this documentary, but I was only inter interested because I recently watched the movie Stillwater, and I wanted to check out, you know, something where she's, like, in it versus something where they just base it off of her. And uh, the documentary does offer some nice, interesting insights, uh, especially because, you know, her opening sentence pretty much sums up the entire movie, you know? Either she's a psychopath who got away with it, or it's something that could happen to anyone, you know? Like, to be wrongfully accused uh, with bad police work and then be wrongfully put away for many years, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's any, any person's nightmare, because, you know, the legal system isn't perfect. So Amanda Knox is, you know, a perfunctory, simple documentary. Uh, it, it's legit because it has all the people there. But overall, it's, uh, you know, it's an okay documentary to check out if you're interested in the subject, but it won't give you anything new too much, you know. So I'll give uh, Amanda Knox a 6 out of 10.